And we're back. I'm Lynn Yukta Chetty, and you're watching Sports Federation TV, the show that brings you all the news about all the sport in all of the Western Cape. We've had um, two interviews already with uh, badminton, and uh, now coming up is cycling, uh, and we've got two phenomenal athletes joining us from different age groups. We have Matthew Ferguson and Shanton. Welcome. Thank you for joining us, and you're here to, to, sh to shed some light on some recent developments with cycling. Matthew, how did you get involved with the sport? I started prob at 1978, when I was 11, about the age of these guys. Yeah. And uh, I, I raced competitively until um, about the age of 22. When I stopped, I went on to other things, and I've just taken the sport up again seriously three years ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm... I'm building up now and I'm trying to uh, focus to, to compete again in, in my age category at a world level, which was my dream when I was young. So I'm thinking now, after all this time... Living the dream. Uh, living the dream, <laughs> now I've got the, I've got the means to do it and that's what yes. I'm doing. But I've got a huge passion for the sport and seeing the, uh, the talent come up, the young talent come up when I was there, it's it motivates me as well. So yes. I think. Uh, Shanton parents, yes. which age group do you um, uh, compete in? Under 15. Under 15? Yes. How did you get involved with the sport? Um, at a very young age, I saw my brothers doing cycling and it just went, it just came to me. All the equipment came to me and my father was a cyclist and then my brother also fell in love with the sport and then Obviously, I fell in love with the sport. Okay. What were some of the recent events that you've competed in? The SA Nationals and Western Cape Champs. All right. And what was your performance like? Um, in the scratch race, I won it. And in the points race, I also won it. And one five, I came third. And the pursuit, I came second. Do you, do you train very intensively for your sport? Yeah, yes. Um, it took me six months of training with my coach, Andrew Arenser. It took us six months to achieve the record. I actually, at the Nationals, I was trying to break the record, but I blew myself. And then after that, he told me, you want to break a record, let's train now. Wow. So you had a goal, and you, you, you set your mind to it, and you've achieved yes. it. It must be phenomenal, Matthew, for the uh, young athletes, or for even uh, more experienced athletes, to see the passion of these youngsters. Hey. Yes, and in the, same, in the same note, it's not possible to be competitive in this kind of environment without that long-term focus. So you've got to set those long-term goals and mm. you've got to work towards them gradually. Yeah. I myself, I couldn't have done it without a coach as well. So I, I work at Le Lejeune Power Studios and constantly I just listen to what I'm, uh, I'm told to do. Mm. And, uh, and the same kind of stories you've got there if this is what you want, then you've got to do this. Not so. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Shanton. So you continue to set new goals and break new records and break your own records and others' records. Thanks. Um, we'll be joined by another young phenomenal athlete uh, in just a sec. Taufik Shiren is joining us now. Also a 12-year-old phenomenal athlete from the sport of cycling. Welcome, Taufik. Hi. So tell us, how did you get involved in the sport? Um, same like Shanton parents, my father was also cycling at a young age. He started at 12 years old, Abu Bakr Shaira. <laughs> he, I was inspired by him. I, was, I always went to his races and like got interested in cycling. So he, once we moved from our other house, I started mountain biking and then my father bought me a road bike and then we used to go riding on Sundays. Yeah. That inspired me. Lovely. It's a, it's a theme, you know, I say we interview all these different sports every week and the theme is always that p parents who are, who are involved in sport have children who are involved in sport. Hey, and you are also competing on a very high level. Hey. Yes. Which kind of events have you participate, uh, participated in recently? I've participated in SA National Road Champs and Western Province VP Champs uh, track. Track. And what is your, what is, which accomplishment are you most proud of? Um, my road actually, because that was a really hard race. Yeah. And what distances do you compete in? For the most I've ridden is the Vida League, the 40k. That was the most. 40 kilometers? 
Wow, that's excellent. And what kind of races do you hope to compete in in the future? In the future, I'm hoping to go big, um, go overseas to Europe maybe next year with kinetic cycling. Um, we're hoping to go big there. From there, I'll look at my future. Wow, so inspiring. 12 years old and, and, and already got his sights on the rest of the world. So, Matthew, um, would, are you w with Western Province um, Cycling? Yes. What kind of development programs do they have for athletes like, um, like Tofik and Shanton? I was uh, pleasantly surprised when I came, came back into the sport. I fixed up my, my bicycle from 1978, the one I raced back then, and I thought I would, I would come down to the track and try it out to see... The, you still got it. The, uh, <laughs> but what I saw there was there was youth being developed. Mm. And when I was 11, I was, it, it was the same. So there was this drive within track cycling to give, uh, uh, it, it was a good sport for, uh, for young people mm. because you, you're restricted to the track and there's a lot of discipline involved and that, uh, that had made a very big difference to my, um, to my life and my career. And I think uh, I came back and I saw the same type of development program around where the young riders outnumber the the old riders and the I more experienced th riders the, the <laughs> more experienced and that's uh, and uh, yeah it, it was a very I wasn't expecting that uh, but it's a wonderful thing to see that to be sitting next to I these know. athletes and they are they're athletes and they're phenomenal um, Matthew you will be competing in an international event um, in the near future tell us about that quickly yes I've been uh, I've set my sights on on the Masters World Championships. So I've been, in the last two years, I've been, uh, I've been competing mainly for experience because when you move up a level in track cycling, you, you're either there or you're not. Mm. So you, 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 you've got to put yourself up against that competition if that's what you're aiming for. I'm hoping to be um, where I need to be next year. So mm. the last two years of that level, I've been gaining experience. I've, uh, I've got one, South African title and two silver medals. So it's still the racing at, uh, as a master mm. at, uh, at South African level, but I've set my goal at, uh, at world level, which was my dream, dream. when I was I 11 to eventually be a world champion. And I, I, I joke with my wife that I'm going to be the champion of the world. It's a, it's a joke, but that's, what I, that's how I felt when I went out on my bike when I was 11, that I was going to... Uh, I'd set my s sights not on the, the, the Western Cape or South Africa, but just like uh, uh, these young athletes wanting to go off and, what did you say? Going to make it big. Yes. That's right, exactly. Oh, excellent. You know, in any sport, every athlete's dream is to That's should right. be to be the best in the world That's one correct, day. Yeah. Dream big. Continue to dream big, Tofik, and best wishes to you in your upcoming races and for you too, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And that's it from um, Western Province uh, Cycling. Um, after the break, we will be joined by surfing, so please stay tuned for that.